Hi, it's Wayne from Damage Undone. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, my Norton or Sangobain's PPS cups. Um, I've, I use two types, or two sizes. I've got the 750ml and I've got the 250ml. So they come with filters in there. Just show you, open this one up. You've got a mesh, this is a 125, so the 250 mils come with a 125 micron, and the 750 come with a 125 and 190 micron. Um, I kind of wish they came with a, a finer one, so a 90, that would be perfect, especially when you're painting solid colors. Um, there are, there are four, come in four parts. So you've got the cap to protect it. You've got the actual bit that has the the lid, so to speak, that has the um, filter in it. You've got a collar that goes around the actual PPS cup itself, and that slides in. So you would put that in like that. It's got a little, it's got a couple of lugs around there that fit nicely into the cup, stop it from sliding around. You then obviously do your do your mixture, and then you would just spin that round and lock it in place. So really simple. You've got the wings on there to hold the PPS cup onto your mixing cup. Um, I don't really use that. It just I just put it straight onto the gun like that. Don't you know that's that's probably just for mixing up and shaking. It would be useful. Um, you've also got. Let's just take that off. It comes with a, a selection of fittings for your spray guns. Covers most of the major spray guns on the market, so they're not a lot of money. They're sort of between three fifty and four pound each, so that's not too bad. Um, and they just slide on there. A little bit tricky not being on a gun, but you slide it on. You know, it's, it's a tight fit, so it's not going to go anywhere when it's on there, especially when you're working with the two fifty mil. If you're working, if you've got a full pot of that of the seven fifty, I would probably recommend that you use the little uh, tabs to lock it in place. And then you're going to make sure it doesn't um, come off if you knock it or anything. Uh, Price-wise, I'm just taking this. That show you, just shows you how well it. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to take that off. It just shows you how well it fits on there. So it is a nice, tight, snug fit, um, which is why I've had no issues with it. Price-wise, you get 48 in a pack, so 48 sets of these. You don't have to. You don't get these, but if you're buying them from your paint supplier. You know, they, they'll probably chuck you in a pot or two. So if you can buy them as an additional extra, but I'm sure they'll chuck you in a pot or two if you're, uh, if you, if you're a good buyer from them. So you get 48 in a, in a set, in a box. Um, and they roughly cost between sort of 45, uh, 40 to 45 pounds plus the VAT. So yeah, really, really good. Been using them for about two, three years, around two years. Um, I can't fault them. The only time I've had any failure with them is literally down to me. I knocked one of those off my spray gun. My fault because I didn't lock it in place. Um, yeah, and I just knocked it like an idiot and waste, wasted about, was well, about half a litre of clear coat, which I was a bit gutted about. But anyway, that's, you know, we all do it, don't we? So, um, and then this one, uh, the other thing, the issue I have ever had every now and again, again, it's a user issue, it's not a product issue, is because you've got those four sort of lugs there that screw into place. If you don't marry it up and tighten it properly, and one of those is not tightening or out of place, so literally, I don't know if you can see that, it just sort of, they should just slide in. But if you have one that goes on top of that collar um, and doesn't tighten up, then you might get a little bit of leakage, but all you do is you just undo it, tighten it up. Um, folds down nicely when you're working through the product, so it, you're, you're getting a constant nice draw on it. Nothing more really to say about it. Do I like it? Yes. Um, have I tried any other PPS cups? No, I haven't. I do have a fast mover one that I'm trying out at the moment, but I'm not really into doing like major reviews on different cups on the market. You know, if I find something that works for me, I like to just stick with it and uh, these work, they, they work, they deliver. So would I recommend them? Definitely. If you uh, want to see any of the other reviews I've done or any products I've done, check out YouTube, check out my Instagram. If you go into my actual Instagram bio page, you'll see the little IGTV review link. Um, if you have any further questions, 
please feel free to ask me. So just a quick synopsis, 250 mil, 750 mil, 125 micron, 125 and 190 micron, costs between 40 to 45 pounds a box and you get 48 in a box. Boom, have a good day.